everyone! Welcome to our video tutorials. Today we want to show you our new feature. Uh, it is a payment integration added recently to Amelia and it's Molly Payments. With Molly Payments you can use many major uh, ways to pay um, such as IDEO, uh, Apple Pay, Google Pay, credit cards and many more. I know many of our users from Netherlands uh, was happy about the uh, option to have ideal payment in Amelia. So today Alexander will show us how to set up Molly in Amelia. Let's dive in. Okay, thank you. Um, the documentation about Molly Payments is under integrations on our website. And uh, basically, all we're going to do here is just follow the instructions because it's pretty simple. Uh, one thing to note is that Molly currently accepts only Euros. And on this link here, you can see the list of countries that are supported that can use Molly payments. Uh, also, directly from this documentation page, you can go to Molly's website and either sign in or sign up. We are already signed in, so just go in there and check out the uh, API keys. We're currently testing this, so we only need to copy the test API key and paste it in Amelia settings under payments. When the website is live, we can just replace test API key with the with the live. live yes, uh, okay. when when the website is verified, the live key will show up here. Uh, so at the moment, Molly is enabled and it's in sandbox mode. So this API key is pasted right here. One more thing to note, when Molly is enabled, PayPal and Stripe will be disabled because Molly contains both payment methods. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and you can also toggle on site with uh, Molly payments. It's similar to uh, WooCommerce. It's just that WooCommerce doesn't allow on site payments. Um, Okay, so this is now connected. Mm -hmm. On the front end page, we have a, a Molly test page where we can book an appointment. Let's say, I don't know, 17th June. And we'll just replace this with a test customer, test email, and a random phone. And just confirm. So this is the test profile and it says right here, this is a test mode payment. So we can choose the status of the payment. We'll set it to be paid and continue. When we do this, the booking page will refresh and you will see our congratulations window. There it is. So and then to add to calendar option is there, yes. which is not the case with WooCommerce. That's right, yeah. With WooCommerce, you have to send an ICS file separately. So here, you can actually choose, as a customer, you can choose which which calendar you're going to use. And by clicking here, you can add this appointment to your calendar. I'm not going to do that now, but that's a possibility for every appointment, for every payment except for WooCommerce. Now, under appointments on June 17th, we can actually see the test customer with the Molly test service paid by Molly right here. Okay. That's pretty much it. Thank you, Alexander. You're welcome. Thank you guys for watching. And please let us know in the comments if you want us to cover something specific in our videos. And stay tuned. Take care, guys. Don't Bye. forget to like, share, and subscribe.